What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Bruja Africana, coming to y'all with another reading. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Ignore my grandson in the background if you hear him. We're recording this at night. But go ahead and subscribe and like my channel. And go ahead and tune in, because y'all asked for it and you got it. Let's talk about Chantel Jackson versus Nelly versus Ashanti, y'all. Let's talk about what I feel like is going on and what's being explained in these cards, honey. So Chantel is coming up as the hermit, and I'm not putting any zodiac signs on these. But Chantel is coming up as the hermit, and Ashanti is the queen of wands because she's the singer. And Chantel seems to be in her um, feelings about <clears throat> the state of the relationship between Nelly and Ashanti. She um, is coming up with this queen of swords energy with the three of swords. Like she's got all this swords energy, so she's angry. She's upset. She's emotional about the situation. She is looking back like, damn, I really did waste my motherfucking time with that page of swords. Like, it's a bitterness that's present in these three cards when it comes to Miss Jackson because she waited on Nelly. And for the most part, you know, he wasted her time. Not for the most part. Um, coming with the hang one, the hangman card, and we're going to read it back, was the hangman, five of cups, nine of wands energy. She's in her feelings because she feels like, yo, this nigga straight wasted my motherfucking time. She's feeling like she poured all this time into him. And I feel like the nine of wands is representative of their almost nine years together. Um, she's embarrassed that she was with Nelly almost nine years and nothing came of it. So she's feeling like, damn, this nigga straight wasted my time for almost nine years. And I just really can't believe, you know, that I tolerated all of this shit. I know I got the three of cups in a way. I mean, I've got cards in a way to three of cups. But let me let me explain that. Nelly did all the shit that he did and she tolerated and put up with it. She like, I've dealt with all of your shit. For all of these years, yes, he was cheating on her. Yes, she did some shit that, you know, he wanted to do some freaky shit. You know, and she like, I thought that this is what you wanted. She, Miss, Miss Jackson thought that Nelly was her at last with that nine of cups coming in. But with that lover's card showing up in reverse, that wasn't what it was, honey. And shows that tower card showing that their relationship was doomed from the start. Um... <clears throat> Now, I don't remember a whole lot about Miss Jackson other than she did the uh, things for the souls of the heels or whatever to keep your heels from being fucked up. So it's not that she was looking for money, but she was really, truly looking to be this man's wife. I think that she enjoyed the relationship with Nelly, despite the toxic things that went on. She enjoyed it and she expected it to grow into something else, but it didn't. After almost nine years, it fell apart. And not only did it fall apart. Nelly has seemed to have changed, baby. Nelly done changed on her. She she and her feelings with that nine of swords, because that seven of swords energy is present with how she feels about the situation with Nelly. And she feels like it's unfair because she said he lied. She like he lied about going back to his ex. He changed up on me. That's Nelly spending a block with that six of swords and that eight of cups. He like, you know. That eight of cups represents their relationship. He wasted her time for eight years and she is in that energy. But not only that, she like, yo, you wasted my time only to spend the block and go back to your ex-girlfriend. That's what we doing, my nigga. Like she really does not appreciate this shit, y'all. She like, hold on. So everything we did, all of the emotions I gave, getting to know your children, you know, we blending families, you know, I thought this what we were building. I don't think that Nelly may have led with that, though. You know, we as women sometimes elevate ourselves to a level of wife without the ring. And I believe that's what <clears throat> Chantel did, which is why she feels like it's unfair in the uh, Seven of Swords stance. She feels like, you know, Nelly promised her a world and went over there and gave it to Ashanti. She like, damn. All of this shit that we did, all of this family planning, all of this getting to know each other, all of this time. See, the thing with Miss Jackson is time. It's time, 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 time. Like, she like, I wasted my time with this nigga only for him to promise me a world and go over there and give it to Ashanti. Yes, honey. 
she feels like he pulled a presto changer on her. I guess Nelly told her he would never be with her again or whatever. He was sitting up over there talking about Ashanti with. He changed his mind. But what Miss Jackson didn't understand, and this is why it's dangerous for women to allow men to come and talk about their fucking ex-girlfriends, especially if he heavy talking. <clears throat> Nelly was talking heavy about Ashanti and Miss Jackson was just accepting it, thinking that she had won. So now that he has presumably given Ashanti the world that she was promised, she's in her fucking feelings. But what Miss Jackson doesn't understand is the world that he promised her belonged to Ashanti. Y'all remember in that last reading, I told y'all Nelly and Ashanti had been together in a past lifetime. See, it was never for Miss Jackson to be Nelly's wife. It was always for Ashanti to be his wife. And Miss Jackson is realizing that. She like, this nigga took the life that he said that he was giving me, maybe. Maybe Nelly never promised her marriage. I can kind of remember like on his show, they asked him about marrying her or something. And he like skated around the fucking response. So I'm like, look at this St. Louis nigga pulling St. Louis responses. Look, girls, let me give y'all a fucking some, some advice. And this ain't nothing against St. Louis dudes. But girl, if his fucking number begins with 314, please focus on yourself. Nobody gave Miss Jackson that advice. See, she played around for eight years and played wife, and now Nelly has come over here and basically taken Ashanti as his wife. That wedding part, that that um engagement announcement is coming soon. And this relationship is going to be a success versus Miss Jackson pouring energy into the situation for eight years, hoping for this. See, she can't be mad at Ashanti. She can't be mad because this nigga came over there and sold her an old dream that she fell for. She feels like, damn, so this nigga going to go over here and get married, have children, and just build a life with this bitch? And, I mean, she is really, really in her feelings. Like, she posts a little shit, you know. I'm like, is she trying to shoot at Ashanti? Girl, we too old for that. Just live and learn. Live and learn. Like, it's a situation of even looking at her stance from the Ten of Pentacles. Look, Miss Jackson, you're already successful. It's not that you even need a man, okay? You just want a man. And you've bought into the old idea of you not being complete without a man. My God, lady, you're beautiful. You don't have any problems in that area. You're a successful woman. You just need to choose different men going forward. That's all it is, baby. You got to let Mo go. Mo gone. He done chose otherwise. He looking back at the two of wands energy. He's looked back and decided that he wants to be with Ashanti. You have to be okay with that. You have to be in a stance of, okay, this didn't work out. And I'm not saying immediately because goddamn, I imagine if I was with someone for eight years and I still loved them, I would be hurt to find out this nigga is having a baby too. But on the other side of it, I could look at it with my grown woman eyes, and that's what Miss Jackson needs to do. Yeah, have your moment. That ten of swords, you know, think about the past, you know, because that's what she's doing. She's thinking about, damn, why couldn't it be me? It was not supposed to be you. That's all it is to it. That six of cups is showing up in an upright position, meaning that she's looking back fondly, thinking about what they had, what they were supposed to have, what they could have had. But none of this was in the cards for her. And instead of her <clears throat> giving energy to her past and thinking about what they could have been, 